Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Thursday night, and we witnessed one of the most difficult days yet in this pandemic. The deadliest 24 hours since this pandemic began, the highest number of new cases since this pandemic began. Tonight, California, for one, telling residents there to prepare for potential lockdowns once again, where ICUs are near capacity. And late today, President-elect Joe Biden making news, saying he has now asked Dr. Anthony Fauci to stay on in the same role in the Biden administration. And Biden saying when he's inaugurated, he'll ask Americans to wear masks for 100 days to help save lives. Tonight, more than 14 million Americans have now tested positive, more than 192,000 new cases in just the past 24 hours. And as I mentioned, more than 100,000 now fighting this virus in the hospital. Deaths now surpassing the peak last spring, at least 275,000 American lives now lost. Tonight, California's governor with that warning that there could very well be new lockdowns in areas where ICUs are close to capacity. Most businesses will shut down, including in-person dining and hair salons. Late today, Delaware's governor announcing a stay-at-home advisory and issuing a universal mask mandate. In parts of Ohio tonight, they're now asking for more mobile morgues. We have it all covered this evening, including new reporting as well on Pfizer's vaccine and concerns they had over the supply chain. So we begin here with ABC's Witt Johnson right here in New York. Tonight, the governor of California says he is pulling the emergency brake, warning the state's 40 million residents to brace for likely lockdowns in just days. We do not anticipate having to do this once again, but we really all need to step up. We need to meet this moment head on and we need to do everything we can to stem the tide, to bend the curve. A three week stay at home order triggered when ICU capacity in a region falls below 15 percent. Many areas right on the edge. Businesses like bars, wineries, hair salons would close. Any in-person schools could stay open along with limited retail and takeout at restaurants. As California braces for potential lockdown, President-elect Biden making news, saying he has talked to Dr. Anthony Fauci, asking him to stay on. I ask him to stay on in the exact same role he's had for the past several presidents, and I ask him to be a chief medical advisor for me as well and be part of the COVID team. And the president-elect saying his inclination on Inauguration Day is to ask Americans to wear a mask for 100 days to help slow the virus and save lives. In the first day I'm inaugurated to say I'm going to ask the public for 100 days to mask. Just 100 days to mask. Not forever, 100 days. And I think we'll see a significant reduction. This as the nation plunges into the darkest days of the pandemic. More than 2,700 American lives lost in just 24 hours. And this stunning admission from the director of the CDC. This nation was severely underprepared for this pandemic. And I think we have to call it the way it is. Morgues around the country starting to run out of room. Stark County, Ohio, bringing in a refrigerated trailer as COVID deaths climb. Over the uh, Thanksgiving weekend, we became completely filled out here at the morgue. And hospitals bursting at the seams. At least 100,000 people now hospitalized with COVID, a new record. And it's because of this virus, okay? If my beds are full of COVID patients, I can't deal with those patients that need me when they come in with acute heart failure. We don't have staffing for us, so therefore we don't have beds. The CDC extending its travel warning through the end of the year, pleading with people to stay home. As cases surge, the holiday season rush on testing continues. In this drive through testing site in Norwalk, Connecticut, many of the cars here lined up hours before the gates even open. Now you're seeing the numbers tick up again, correct? Absolutely. The numbers are going back up, and we know that that's because uh, people were exposed and they're finding out through contact tracing uh, that they might be at risk. In Oklahoma, ICU nurse Lizanne Jennings lost her mother and husband to the virus within three days of each other. I'm an ICU nurse and I help all these people and I couldn't save my own family. Lizanne laying with her husband Dennis in his final moments. I'm going to let you go now, okay? And he said, uh huh. And I said, you're going you're to be in peace. We have to remember these families every night here, and Witt joins us live again this evening and we know late today with that we learned president-elect joe biden was also asked if he would take the vaccine and when 
David, the president-elect Joe Biden says if Dr. Anthony Fauci tells him it's safe that he would get the vaccine and he'd be happy to do it publicly following the model of his predecessors, three former presidents, Obama, Bush and Clinton, all reportedly saying they would be willing to get it publicly as well. This is all an effort to try to communicate with the American public that the vaccine would be safe and critical to ending this pandemic. David. All right, Whit Johnson live here in New York leading us off with thank you. And Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.